First, however, I wanted to check the pulse of Washington and the state capitol on the status of even getting the bill out of Congress. More money is likely coming from Washington, D.C. to the states for COVID-19 relief. Most everyone agrees that additional vaccines and testing supplies are badly needed, but there are disputes over things such as unemployment extensions and whether the benefits should be $300 or $600 per week. And critics say only a small portion of the bill is actually COVID-19 related. About 10% of that covers the health issues, and the other 90% is loaded in with uh, long-term spending, long-term kind of bloated, whether it's a bridge, whether it's an underground railroad, whether it's uh, pension relief. Senator Capito says most Republicans favor a $300 a week unemployment supplement, but she'll support President Joe Biden's $400 level. Most Democrats and some public policy advocates argue $600 would be better. And getting those expansions of the unemployment benefits, they're about to expire for about 30,000 people, and you know we, the economy is not where it needs to be to see those things go away. So we need that level of support still. Still others say Congress needs to spend more money for health care, especially since so many rural hospitals hospitals have closed their doors. We've got a lot of poor areas in this state and they need the health care money and I'd like to see it go to offset uh, you know what what they're having problems with in those regions. The latest two trillion dollar COVID federal aid package is definitely on the fast track. The U.S. House of Representatives will vote it up or down on Friday. Then it's on to the Senate where it faces an uncertain future. Right now, it's estimated the next round of stimulus checks will be $1,400 per adult.